You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here, and I'm back for the second episode of Mission Manchester. Now, if you don't know what's going on, I'd recommend you go and watch the first episode, because that explains exactly what's going to be going on in this series. Anyway, we're going to start off this episode by doing some trading, because obviously this is a Road to Glory slash trading series, where we're going to try and build the best Manchester United squad possible. So, the first thing I did was I went and picked up some of these squad morale cards for about 200 to 300 coins on bid with the about 1000 coins that I had and we're going to list them up for about 750 coins because that's what they're selling for which is kind of crazy loads of profit to be made you can see quite quickly that I sold these two on one of them still remains but two of them have sold which means we've got some more coins to play with so we're going to go and try and spend it I put some money onto this guy um, he's the right back from the Russian League and he does go for a little bit these non-rare 4 one 2 one twos. I did manage to sell on that other large squad morale so uh, we've got some more coins there and you can see I also won the two non-rare players that I put bids of 350 on. I'm going to try and sell them on for 800 and the Diara for about 500. So we're going to go back into the squad morale. You can see that I'm sniping them on the 59th minute there buying them up and that one I got for 200 coins going to sell it on for 850 this was during the night and they were going up in value all the time you can see there sold those on and I've also managed to pick up another two uh, morale cards for another 250 so it's some great profit I mean I'm making about five to six hundred coin profit on every card so it's a really really good way to make money and as you can see we are going to try and pick up some more of these 41212 non-rare players I'm trying to pick up the ones that I think will be able to sell on for more and if I don't manage to sell them on then they will discard for at least 300 coins anyway so I put a whole load of bids down and I'll show you some of those in a bit but you can see here this is what the team is looking like at the moment we've got our three Manchester United players in there so far cleverly we've got Evans and also Lindegaard in goal so we're going to go into our first game of the episode and we come up against an all gold team the uh, matchmaking not helping us in any way during the series so far. He has Balotelli, he has Oxlade Chamberlain, he has Sinclair, he has Milner, he has Lennon. The only thing that's a saving grace is his defence, which is terribly slow, so hopefully we'll be able to exploit him there. However, he does take an early lead through Milner, somehow managed to get a ball over the top. Uh, bamboozling my defence. Obviously, we're still, uh, you know, struggling. A few of those quality or a few of those players are not very good, and we are going to struggle throughout this. Anyway, a very nice goal here by um, Kaleverly. There, a uh, little nutmeg. It was a bit of a dodgy nutmeg. It sort of hit his ankle, but it came straight back to me and uh, ended up slotting that one home. Now, why can't I cross like this with my normal gold teams when I'm playing on my main account? I cannot score even. A fraction of the number of goals from crosses as I do when I'm playing with this bronze sort of um, dodgy team. Anyway, a lovely save there by Lindegaard, keeping it a 2-1. But unfortunately, he does take this corner and he whips it straight in. And a very nice goal there from Woodgate, saying that his uh, defenders were slow, probably infuriated them into scoring goals, which was probably my mistake, probably underestimating them in somewhat as well. Anyway, you can see here some bad defending by him, allows me to cross it in, and Tadic is at the back post for an easy finish and as I said these crosses they never work for me normally but when I use these bronze players they seem to make all the right runs and the crosses are excellent so I don't really know what's going on with that considering their crossing is probably terrible and there you go again another easy cross this time Puri coming in back post and a good finish with his left foot to seal the win and give us a 4-2 victory so well played to the team on that one we're going to pick up some coins which are direly needed or dearly needed I should say and uh, we're going to head back into the arena you can see there that we are now guaranteed to be promoted we've still got six games so we could even win the division five title in the next game as long as we win so you can see we're back in the arena and i have put all of these players that i put the uh, 300 coin bids on up for sale you can see there's absolutely tons of them there's likes of gurkuf there's a williams there's an abue there was a Kladec as well, a Trey Moulinas, he hasn't got any contracts on him but I'll show you a quick way to make some coins off him nonetheless. We've also managed to pick up a Michael Sell, uh, I think that we got a couple of Arsenal players as well, Fabianski, 
there and also um, Santos as well so those players going for a few hundred coins profit as well you see we're putting Trey Moulinas into the club now these bronze contracts are basically worth nothing so I literally just put one on just to make him appeal to people he doesn't have that red mark on him anymore and I put him up for 800 coin anyway we can see here that we are going to be trying to buy a Jones it's got 15 seconds left on it it is the cheapest one on the market for bid at the moment I mean the lowest buy it now I believe was about 900 coins so we're going to be able to sell them on if we need to for about 150 to 250 coins if we even want to but at the moment we're not looking to sell any of our players on we're just trying to build the team up as best we can you can see that we're going to put him into the club and then obviously slot him into the team next to Evans giving the back three nine chemistry each which is a massive deal because now they won't be making any of those stupid mistakes at the back although their morale is still looking kind of low but I'm not going to waste my money on morale cards at this stage of the game because there is just no point anyway we go into our next game and we come up against a 4-4-2 BPL team and uh, some other players in there actually it's not really BPL is it it's just got random players all over the place I was just looking through the defence and the middle of the pitch um, there was a lot of BPL players in there but there were a lot of bad players in there as well Anyway, you can see here we take the lead um, in the 18th minute, I believe, or the 16th minute. Tadic getting the rebounded goal, and this guy decided that he didn't want any more. I just uh, seeing so many rage quits in this division, it's kind of crazy, but the good news is that it does mean that we have now won Division 5, and we will be progressing into Division 4. We've won the title. We get some bonus coins for obviously winning the title, which is always good, and we're going to go and splash out in the arena by buying ourselves our most expensive player so far far well back in the 41212 so fits into our team and uh, he is kind of expensive I mean he's 1600 by now but we really need something up front uh, despite the fact that our you know our strikers are doing quite well um, we do need some uh, pace up front to basically get in and be able to finish so you can see here we're going to pop well back into the squad he gets a very very strong link with cleverly so those two I believe may be on full chemistry as well so that's a good deal as well so there you go anyway into our final game of the episode we come up against this 4-3-1-2 team it has Emma Nike and Wellerton up front with Bent uh, behind them and basically a Prem and Brazil and a whole load of messy stuff going on anyway this is our first game in Division 4 and uh, it's not started off brilliantly Evans has managed to give away a penalty similar to what happened in the last episode not much in it but unfortunately we do trip him over and Wellison steps up and takes the penalty and despite going the right way Lindegaard just could not get there so a horrible setback in the fourth minute is going to make it an uphill struggle for the rest of this game especially when this happens Dede climbing well from that corner in the 17th minute to give him a 2-0 lead and I was starting to think that we had no chance anyway we started to have a comeback slightly after that you can see here we managed to get through with Tadic a very very lucky ball coming off the keeper and straight back into his feet for an open goal just to tap him really for him anyway our first bit of play from Welbeck a nice and easy goal from him a good finish he just simply went past the defence his keeper came out far too far he couldn't get down low enough to stop that and Welbeck punishes him by putting it into the low right hand corner so um, we're back on level pegging with this guy but the reason I've left this on as you can probably guess is there is something bad going to happen directly from the kickoff he kicks that one over the top and despite having nine chemistry on our centre backs there was a bit of bad work from Jones and then obviously it was my fault that I ran him well out of the way and that is an absolutely cracking goal from Wellington straight into the top corner off the bar but we get lucky um, slightly later on you can see there 45th minute aids going on as cleverly manages to tackle Felipe Santana and pop that one into the back of the net anyway we go through with uh, Welbeck again a really really nice goal roulette opens up the space and then he smashes that one in from rage to give us the 4-3 advantage and at this point I was thinking I just need to hang on and we can get the win unfortunately there is no such thing as an easy win in FIFA and you can see there Dede again punishing me from the corner this time volleying it into the top or the just past the keeper really to level up the game at 4-4 however Welbeck does get man of the match which is a good sign and uh, that's pretty much the end of the episode guys so I hope you're enjoying the series please drop it a like your support is always appreciated but other than that I will leave it there and I will see you all next time <laughs>